In this video, we'll balance the equation for KOH plus CO2. This is potassium hydroxide and carbon dioxide gas. Let's count the atoms up, balance the equation. One potassium, one oxygen, but don't forget these two oxygens here in the carbon dioxide. That's three, one hydrogen, and one carbon atom. On the product side, we have two potassiums. Oxygens, we have three, plus we have the one in the water, so we have four two hydrogens, and the one carbon. Let's leave the oxygens till last. Why don't we just put a coefficient of two in front of the KOH? One times two, that equals two, so those are balanced. We do need to update the oxygens though. So one times two plus the two here. That gives us four. That's nice because that's an even number. And the two, it goes to everything, so we have one times two for the hydrogens. Now we have two hydrogens balances the hydrogens as well. Actually, everything's balanced. This is the balanced equation for KOH plus CO2. So when you're doing these equations, it's best to leave the oxygen till last. Sometimes it just works out. If you're wondering about the states, this would be aqueous. This would be a gas. This would be aqueous also since it's soluble because of the potassium. Water would be a liquid. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KOH plus CO2. Thanks for watching.